Renowned artist Morsheri, recognized for hits like Gates of Heaven and Bebe, has once again voiced her frustration on social media. Despite her talent, she continues to be excluded from the St. Lucia Jazz and Arts Festival lineup. She passionately argues that she deserves a chance to showcase her skills on stage, emphasizing the lack of support from the government for local artists like herself. Morsheri highlights the irony that it took the endorsement of a Jamaican artist, Vibes Cartel, for her talent to gain recognition. At what point does hard work, talent, ambition, dedication, and perseverance goes and stays unnoticed in a society where opportunities are so limited? Tell me. I have dedicated my life to my music, and not once has any person of power in St. Lucia helped me with any of any of my recognition that I have gotten so far. It took a man from a different country in prison to give me my little break. Leave it up to you guys. I would have been one of the many St. Lucian singers, female singers to be exact, who attempted to be someone in this industry that failed because of lack of support by people who are placed in position to aid us. Morsheri has expressed a strong desire to understand the selection process for artists at the festival and whether there may be a personal bias against her. She is hoping for clarity on whether her exclusion is intentional or merely a result of a selection criteria. The St. Lucian people and I would like to know who is in charge of booking both local and international acts and why. Is it personal preference or based on actual talent and ambition? During his show Situation of the Public, Devonte addressed Morsheri's plight, expressing that her plea for inclusion in the festival lineup is not unreasonable. He declared that her talent merits consideration and that her exclusion may indeed be unjust. I am going to tell you the way that Mosheri speaks on social media about St. Lucia and the way that she speaks and she says certain things about the current political party and the way that she speaks and she says certain things about St. Lucia jazz, I do not like it. But at the same time, I have to sit and try and put myself in her shoes. Her frustration as a St. Lucian who has achieved so much great things. Why is it that even if y'all don't put her on men's St. Jazz, at least put her on, on side stage or something. Put her somewhere. All she's asking for is a chance. All she's asking for is the opportunity for her to entertain her own people. I don't think that is too much to ask for. Devonte acknowledged Mosheri's talent and advocated for her opportunity to perform at the festival, irrespective of personal challenges individuals may face. It is not her fault that a lot of y'all cannot move forward. It is not her fault that y'all are scared to take a leap and it is not her fault that you lack self-confidence in the product that you have to offer to society. Her product that she has to offer is her voice. And if I am not lying and if you are not lying, we can all agree that this young lady is very talented, very good looking. I do not care what issue she's going through. I do not care. Devonte also highlighted the disparity in support between local artists like Mosheri and international counterparts like Chloe Bailey. He called for greater recognition and support for local talent, emphasizing the need to level the playing field and provide equal opportunities for artists within the community. That girl Chloe is not a St. Lucian and y'all praise her like she's a god. Y'all St. Lucians praise her like she's a god, like all of a sudden all they're listening to is Chloe. So the same love y'all give to Chloe, why not give it to her? Why not push her music? Why not share her music? Let's try and get her music out there because we know she has what it takes. Instead of us trying to bombard her, how would y'all feel if somebody's doing that to y'all and all you want is a chance? Kelly B, known for Denry segment hits like Anything Goes, added his voice to the discussion, expressing gratitude to more Sherry for speaking out. He suggested that Denry segment artists have benefited from Morsheri's advocacy as they have been given opportunities to perform at the Jazz Festival. Denry segment are perform on Jazz Festival. And nobody now thank Morsheri. Morsheri a campaign for years and say, boy, the same set of fellas want a Jazz Festival. 
Nobody not find Mon Sherry. Mon Sherry complain yes and say change up the thing. I mean, in every business, everybody got their favorites. You get me? So me don't mind, me don't mind Michael Robinson and the man I perform every year because them man have fantastic voice. Them man, you know, them man is real performers. You know, half of them man, them man is real performers. You get me? But the point of the matter is then we segment artists on a jazz festival. On the loop on them man, me see like boy. Them man doing it. I like the vibe. I like the vibe. But everybody got to go find the woman they call mad. Moshery. Moshery continues to advocate for her inclusion in the Jazz and Arts Festival. For the Hot 7 TV News, Chrissy Bakey reporting.